Building a Tenor Guitar, Part 26, at RandallPrice.com. Welcome back to Building a Tenor Guitar. Next, I'm going to work on tapering the guitar neck. If you look at the guitar neck on the blueprint, you can see that the, the neck is tapered. It's about an inch and a quarter wide here at the headstock, and it tapers back to an inch and five eighths wide. And here's the neck right now, and it has no taper to it at all. And in fact, it's a little bit oversized right now. It's an inch and seven eighths wide. So I need to uh, cut the neck from an inch and five eighths at this end, tapering down to an inch and a quarter right at where it um, angles down to the headstock. And to do that, I'll use a template and a uh, template bit on the router table to do it. So next I need to make a template to that shape. And what I've done is taken a piece of quarter inch uh, plywood. You could use a piece of quarter inch hardboard, it doesn't really matter, um, to make this template. And I've ripped this piece of plywood down to an inch and five eighths wide, and I've cut it to the length of the fretboard, which is 13, 16 and 13 16 inches. Next, I need to taper this template, and I built probably what is the world's simplest tapering jig for my table saw. I positioned my template on this piece of pine and I've got it flush at this end. I need to taper from an inch and five eighths down to an inch and a quarter so I need to remove um, three eighths of an inch from the width so I need to remove three sixteenths of an inch from each side. I've kind of marked this just so you can see the taper. So I've overhung this template 3 16 of an inch on that side and the way that I did that was using my gauge blocks. I used an eighth and a sixteenth which is 3 16 of an inch and just brought the edge of that flush. And then I drove two finished nails right on the center line of the template. So I'll take this over to the table saw, run it through the table saw, cut this taper flip it over and set it back on these nails and then I'll be able to cut the taper on the other side and because these nails are right on the center line of the template it'll cut an equal amount off each side. So I'll head over to the table saw and set up to do that. I have my table saw set up. I have the rip fence set just so my jig passes past the blade and it'll cut off that 3 16 of an inch off of the neck. There's one side. Just flip this over. And there's the tapered template. Now I need to fasten the template to the neck and to do that I've just got some double faced carpet tape which I've stuck to the back of the template. I'll just trim that off. I tried measuring this but I think the easiest the easiest way to uh, to do this is just to line up the center line that I've marked on the template with the center line of the neck, which I can tell from the from the uh, strip of walnut that runs down the center. There we go. 
Now, theoretically, <clears throat> this should be about three sixteenths of an inch um, overhang on each side. It's somewhere close to that. I can feel just a slight, slight overhang, so it's it's probably a, a few thousandths of an inch less than that. But I do have it centered, and I'm just gonna use a clamp, go along here, and really adhere this double face tape to the neck. I plug it over to my router table and uh, put in the template bit set up to trim the neck. So here's the bit I'm going to use to, to cut the neck. It's a bearing guided a straight bit. I'll just install that in my router table and and get started. I want to go past um, where the nut sits to transition from the from the fretboard down to the headstock. So I just made a line on the back, so I don't know how far to go. Even though I'm using this uh, template and a template guided bit um, to taper the neck. I've set my fence up just to use it as a, a limiting guide so I only take off a small amount in each pass so I don't get any chip out on the side of the neck. So I'll make a pass on each side and slowly move the fence back until I get down to my template and make the final pass just with the template itself. Take this over to the bench and and pull the template off so you can see it. Everything looks good. I'll, uh, there we go. And there's the tapered neck. Obviously, I got a little bit to take off right here. In fact, this needs to be tapered down. So most likely I'll take that over to the bandsaw and put a tilt on the bandsaw to make that taper on the heel. Because right now that's my most likely plan. 
Um, very happy with that that taper. That's uh, that worked out really well. I also need to add the add some widths to this headstock. It's not quite wide enough. Next, I'm going to cut cut some wood to widen out this headstock, and I have some scrap pieces of mahogany left over from when I made the neck. So this neck is it is just a, a hair under a half inch thick. That's my half inch gauge block, and it's slightly taller than that. So I'll take a piece of mahogany over to the table saw, rip it down to to a half inch thick, and you gotta remember the orientation of this. This is actually the face of the mahogany board, but when I made up the neck, I actually glued the mahogany on edge this way. So when I rip this piece down to half inch, I want to cut on the face, and that'll rotate up if you glue it on this way. So this is actually the the edge of the mahogany board. I just want to keep it in the same orientation. On this headstock, you can kind of see that this grain's running this way because this was a this was a wide block of wood, and I cut this taper in the block of the wood, so I got some short grain running across this way, and this really um, runs a risk of of just breaking this headstock because we've got such short grain. Well, when I cut this, uh, it'll be glued on the edge this way, so I'll have straight grain running on each side that will help reinforce this headstock. And also, once I get the mahogany, or excuse me, the, the walnut veneer glued over the, the entire headstock, that will additionally reinforce the headstock. I'll take this over to the table saw and rip it down and glue it on the headstock. Okay, I've taken a piece of pine and stuck some uh, clear packing tape to the surface and just clamped my headstock to that. I'm just going to use that as a as a surface to, to align all these pieces and glue them on. I cut that down to half inch thick and and just cut the piece in two and I'll glue those two under the sides of the headstock and wait for that to dry. Once I get the these two pieces glued onto the headstock and get the face of it smoothed, I'll be able to I'll be able to shape the headstock and I'll do that in a similar manner as I did the the uh, neck itself. I'll make a, a template of the shape of the headstock that I want and and do that on the router. all these clamps set up and then I'll, I'll tighten them up. I put the, this on the piece of pine for this very reason so I could clamp the, the headstock and these two extensions to it so I got a, a flat surface or a nearly flat surface or flat plane on the other side. Okay, I'll just have to wait for this to dry.